everyone welcome back to my channel my name is lisa if you're new around here today we're going to do a little bit of diy i asked on instagram the other day what kind of home content you wanted to see here on youtube and a few of you said like house tour you wanted to see some more diys so i thought we'd start with a diy which i'm really excited about i've been wanting to make one of these for a super long time i've got a couple already around the house but they're not made by us so mark and i are going to make a vintage looking like skinny bench to put somewhere i don't know where i'm going to put it yet we could put it in the um bay window in the living room or there are loads of places where i want to put one of these so we can maybe make a few of these in the future as well but i want to make one today so we're just going to go get some wood and make it with you it's our first time making it so we don't know how we're going to do it yet but i thought i'd show you the process and how we do it and hopefully it works out well also i have got another lamp to show you because we got a lamp the other day <laughs> and um, you know that one from ikea sorry you probably think i'm being really wasteful but i just didn't like it there in the end it wasn't that it was more like it was what we said wasn't it whereas the glass because you can see the bulb through the glass because it's next to the tv yeah. yeah so it was a little bit annoying so what we've done is we've popped that well we're going to put that in the playroom i just need to get another bulb but then when i was in sainsbury's the other day i saw the most perfect lamp i've been looking for one like this with the lamp shade like this for so long and there was just one left just staring at me and i thought wow i love it so let me show you the new lamp anyway whilst we're here i just love it i love the shape of it i think it looks so cool and i do think this looks better than the glass one do you Gigi? do you prefer it <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is our new lamp, which I got from Sainsbury's. It's from Habitat. It's got this linen effect to it. And as you all know, I love green. So that is that. Um, but yeah, so this is the kind of wooden bench that we want to make. Something a bit like this, rustic oh, looking. It's be more battered than that, isn't it? It will be, yeah. That's, that's like a new one. That's yeah. from Lara Do. But yeah, I do want it to look a little bit more old. Like it's almost reclaimed oh, wood in a way. Yeah. So we could make one for here mm. and then put like a nice blanket over it or something like that. I've ordered a couple of blankets actually yeah. the other day. Right, or we could put it over here. But we've possibly. got another idea here. Oh, we? we've got some more plans guys for this yeah. area. I was saying to Mark yesterday, I, when I sit in this room, I look around and yeah. I'm like, what can I do next? I always tell you, shut your <laughs> you get. So... I was like, oh, we should try and put like a bookcase here because I want some shelves. You know what I'm like? I always want shelves to style up. So I was thinking of different ways we could do it. Maybe we could get a built-in or something like that. And then Mark suggested something that I had thought of, but I didn't think was possible. So I'm going to take oh a little, God. I'll take a bit of the credit. <laughs> uh, but no, Mark suggested that we create like a niche in there. So shelving inside so one massive one you know a bit like the one that i showed you the other day that i wanted to create for the stairs so we're going to do hopefully an arched um shelving right. but in the wall because that's a stud wall there isn't it or it's um, like you know it's hollow something's going on because of the thing behind it yeah so you can hear that you're going to be able to go through but what we need to work out first is how far we can go in yeah. because there is a shelving well, on the other side i think, I think the shelving measured yesterday the shelving comes to here yeah so, got so I mean as long as you've got like a bit like enough to put something on and that way we're not taking up any space we're nice. using the wall so yeah that would be nice and then we could put something underneath it because we won't take it all the way down and then put some oak shelves in just to create some warmth so that's another plan we've got a lot of ha housey plans today nice. um but yeah we want to create a bench so maybe for over here the thing is we can't I don't know we've just got loads of bits because obviously the cat thing is there yeah but yeah, they yeah. like sitting by the window, so we can't not move. Yeah, we can't move that. It'll be like this big, pretty shutters, yeah? Oh, do you think that long? Yeah. I was thinking not so long. <laughs> <laughs> and we want it like really skinny, like a really skinny hey, bench, like this. Really? I think this wide. No. Let me just wait there. Just keep it. And uh, no, like that maybe. No, just like the thickness there. of wait that. Two seconds. I mean, one second. Also, how does how nice does this little table look? I actually realized that i had christmas stuff still on here <laughs> that i forgot to put away like i had this glittery table runner the other day so yesterday i just tidied it up and i've put this out so this is from ikea actually this faux lavender and so is this pot and then i've kept this out from christmas this is from tesco's and then i've got my wooden beads i like that i think that looks nice oh right yeah no not that skinny yeah that's skinny no that's that's a great you size that it, yeah that's great that. yeah that's oh, nice yeah that's a good oh, size and then we can kind of like take chunks out of it and make it look rustic oh you can sound a bit off can you yeah. it's quite thick on there though why is this that painted what's it for 
Oh, right, yeah. I see, yeah. Well, you, you can reuse see. that if you want to. Yeah, I'll sand it down and then... Okay. We'll probably need to get some wood for the legs. Yes, just some little it's skinny... It's kind of perfect length, isn't it? Well, it is, yeah, actually. <laughs> it is so cold, guys. I really hate that sound. Sorry if anyone else hates that sound. It's so... It goes through my ears. <laughs> <laughs> so cute you're so cute <laughs> if you can't tell already we're in the van today are we working together it's not actually that cold is it oh my god it's freezing it's cold in england at the minute though it's isn't it it's so cold it's I'm not so that cold. cold it's about minus two or three i think pretty cold freezing we used to we didn't mind it coming cold do we uh, i actually like, like it. it i like it because it's sunny yeah. I don't like the rain. Yeah. I don't mind a rainy day when I'm at home and I haven't got to go yes. anywhere and it's like cosy. No, I like to go out in that. That's yeah. the best time. Yeah. When you get drenched and then you come home. Okay, so we are just looking for some stains or something to put on the wood. Or what about something like this? Wood dye. Yeah, it looks quite good. Medium oak. Water-based dye for interior woodwork. Leaves the grain visible. You did it with coffee last time. I did, yeah, but I just feel like this would be a little bit more durable. And I'm cleaning it. I would prefer light oak, but they've only got medium I oak. Pine. Don't really want pine looking. Uh, stuff, yeah, I think so. Unless you, we, we have got, got, got we have got wax, which I'll cl I'll do over the top uh, of it we've after. Got one, yeah. yeah. So we're getting some wood now for the legs. It's too wide, too isn't, big, it? isn't it? We want These. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the one. Is that too big still for the legs? Those would be better. Yeah. What are they then? Inch squared, yeah? Inch, isn't it? Yeah. Or inch and three eighths. We got the goods. Yeah, it's alright though, isn't it? <laughs> like the right old man like this. <laughs> what, the coding? What? Okay. Mark's trying to sort his radio out for his van. Not working? It will work, but I can't. Oh, hang on, oh, right, yeah, actually, I had to do that. Anyway, we've got that wood dye. I actually looked on, um, where did I look? On Google, just to see if the colour was nice, and I actually do like the colour of it, so, um, hopefully that looks good. Do this. Drill bit. Let's see one of these up. What is it? So clever. Plug it into your cigarette lighter, please. Bluetooth for your stereo. Oh, nice. Yeah, you hear that? Plays music through your... The cigarette lighter thing. No, through the speakers. But I mean, by using that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean now? Yeah. Huh? Miley Cyrus flowers. I could buy myself flowers. Bluetooth. Why are you recommend this? Waiting this for so connection. <laughs> Bluetooth is connected. Let's go. Let's go. Let's How cute is this mug? We've had it for so long. I think this is from Vistaprint. I need to get an updated one with Orlando on it. It's so cute. This is Mark's mug. Mark has sanded this All sanded. piece of wood. This is excellent. Mm -hmm. Well done. I like this. Um, yeah, so basically I need a tool where I can like cut like the edges off yeah. the corners. What do you mean? All I, of it? Um, no, not all of it. Just where I can like chisel, yeah? go into it and like do bits. Yeah, and then, chisel, and then I want to create some lines here, so yeah, I need like I've a got, round. No, I've got a grinder. Yeah, that'll do. I'll cut them. Okay. I'll get hammer chisel for you.
our suit is ready and now we need to do the legs so this is all a bit smoother now i'm going to stain this after but first of all we're going to do the legs we've got the saw ready we've got our wood so these pieces of wood i think they're like one and a half inch are they one inch three eighths okay yeah so a good size i think okay so we're just measuring the legs now so mark cut this edge at a 15 degree angle we and flipped it 16 inches 16 inches long i think yeah, that's going to be the right height for four. it we've got our legs Oh. Which is cool. So now Mark's going to drill some pilot, holes in. Pilot drill. Pilot drill. Just so when you put the big screws through, it doesn't just. This will just. Uh, this could just shatter. Okay. And if you just wang the big screw through there, it just go. Yeah, so it'll just crack. break all the way down. So we have distressed the legs a little bit. Let's see how they're going to look. This is good. <laughs> Wowzers. Why didn't we make one of these before? No. We've been wanting one of these for so long. This is fantastic. Well done. Are you happy with this? Where yeah. You want them, you want them. You got well, about where they were, I suppose. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Looks great. Let's have a look how it looks just like that. This is looking great. <laughs> I'm loving it. This is so nice. Oh my God, I can't wait to stain it as well in a minute. Okay, we're at the stage now where we can stain it. So it's been completely cleaned. It's dust free now and it looks great. This is so good. So I'm going to use this wood dye and I'm going to put it on with a brush. And it should take two hours to dry before you put another coat on. I think one coat will probably be enough though, but let's see how this looks. Okay, ignore the state of me, I've been outside so my nose is cold, but this bench is honestly so good. I've literally just styled it, I'm waiting for a blanket to arrive, I ordered one the other day. So I've just literally put my scarf up there, but it actually looks really good. And this is so good, don't you think? Wowzers, let me show you our new bench. Ready, three, two, one, ta-da. Oh my God, this is so good, guys. What do we think? It looks like 300 years old as well. It does, doesn't it? It looks so fab here. I'm really pleased with it. I don't know why I've put that plant there. I don't think it needs to be there, really. So, this has cost £19 to make. And we've got enough wood stain to make about 10 more. So, it probably didn't cost £19. Yeah. But because we had to buy the stain, if you've already got one at home, you can just probably make it from scraps that you've got around the house. Yeah. Because we already had that that top piece which was scrap and then we just needed to buy the wood for the legs and that is it i think it looks so good so i've added the wax to it now so it's got a bit of a sheen and it feels really nice as well like really smooth and as you can see from this one over here they kind of have a similar look although this one is slightly lighter in color and that one is curved but i feel like they look great together i think i prefer the color of our one actually the darker wood it's just a nice contrast against the floor. But I mean, you wouldn't have thought that that one was, I don't know however much it was, 100 to 200 pounds, and then that cost 19 pounds. I'm gonna have these wooden benches everywhere now in the house because they're so good. Um, let's take that off just so you can see it all. So that, guys, is our DIY rustic bench. Let me know what you think of this DIY. If you've got any questions, I hope that I've covered everything with how we've made it but if you've got any questions do let me know and let me know if you enjoyed this diy thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and we'll see you all in the next video bye guys <laughs>